Hi, I'm Tim Steiner. We're going to show you the basics of setting up uh, an alfalfa today. Uh, we picked three trees here in the woods. This is a headside tree. That's another one. These are fairly close. They can be on out as much as 30 feet, but that will make some difference. Because we're close, we've used up most of our tree saver bands and wraps around the tree. And we've laid out our headside tensioner, somewhat shortened up, and installed it through the loops on the headside tree saver bands. Then we also have one down at the foot end. And we'll bring the tent right on down here. You have the tent here wrapped in its own floor and tied with a tie that stays with it all the time. This tree saver band, because it's somewhat more distant, we've only used one wrap. It will need quite a bit of the length. And we do set this length when we uh, pick a setup so that when we've laid out the tent, it will fall a little bit short of the tensioner line. So that the head side of our tent will fall Oh, somewhere between a few inches and as much as three feet at the most short of our where our tensioner will be as it as it's tensioned up between the trees and this is to allow a final tensioning a lot of the tensioning is done with the tensioner and then a final tensioning is done in our web web tension design with these uh, d-ring straps so uh, we'll tie it up now to our corner ring we have several things going on here this is our main corner ring and we use a knot, and you must learn this knot because we're going to put these lines under a lot of tension. Many knots will jam and not release when they've been uh, put under a lot of tension. Uh, this Dyneema, a high lubricity line, very strong, very lightweight. Uh, because it's high lubricity, it will cinch down even tighter under tension. So we use a temper hitch, developed a long time ago by loggers. Uh, in order to pick up large loads of logs and release quickly or easily after the weight is off of them. It's just over and through, and that's a hitch. And then three wraps, not hitches. One around the same part of the line. Two, three. And we've learned with this high lubricity line not to pull the last one clear through and to snug it down, but to make it a running knot so that it can be yanked out easily afterwards. And we go to the other side, pick up the other tree line, pick up this corner of the tent, and install this tree line through the corner the same way. And now we lift the whole tent off the ground, the whole alpha off the ground, center it up a bit where we want it to be. And it's uh, easy to tie this knot just by pinching here to hold it. You're not trying to hold a lot of tension, just a little. And then tying the timber hitch. Now sometimes the timber hitches will be tied way out at the end of the line, depending on how wide the setup is. And this is part of the great adjustment of our, our rig that it can be done in many different ways. Here it's tied well back into the middle of the line. Uh, one hitch and three wraps. And we're not trying to hold a lot of tension, just as much as you can hold with a pinch of finger and thumb. And we'll not pull the last one clear through, but leave it as a loop. We'll neaten these up when we're finished. And now we'll apply the main tensioning uh, through the tensioner. This time it's over fairly near the tree. It can be anywhere in the span that it lands. Uh, it can be facing either direction that you set it up. And we'll apply some tension. When we've applied a little bit, it's good to step back to the middle and you have the opportunity at this point to slide it back and forth along its travel to get it nice and flat and smooth. Then we'll apply some serious tension. Now, before we tension it completely up, you can set these, uh, we've got pretty good distance today. It can be any distance that you can reach. You have a lot of distance, you're gonna have to put more muscle into uh, uh, putting, installing the, the D-ring straps. But if you put them on before you've arrived at full tension, I could even slack off a little bit here. I can install these after full tension is on, or again, when it's a long way to go, I can get it now before the tension's strong. And through both loops and back through the top one, just like a D-ring belt for your pants. And we won't finish the tensioning on it yet. If it happens to land anywhere near the hardware, just move it over a bit and that'll vary from setup to setup. And then we'll go ahead and use the main tensioner 
get as much tension as we can in the rig. We'll use some old sailor tricks like they used to use with schooners in flexing the halyards as they went up the mast to help get them tighter. And we'll give it all we got. And we'll clean this up when we're finished. And now having installed the D-ring straps ahead of time, we can just finish by tightening them. It's good to go back and forth between them to work them down. And of course, the tighter the better. We get quite a stable, a stable rig this way. Then when we're done and neatening up, we can wrap these up and put a little hitch into them. We can come back and do that later, but just to give you an idea. Now we'll install the tent poles and the tent will be ready. These are Eastern tent poles, they self-assemble on shock cords. Easton calls their poles the Ferrari of tent poles. They are, rule of thumb, twice as strong and half as heavy as fiberglass poles. And weight's very important to us in the design of our backpackable tent. And through the crown loop, the nylon fitting here at the at the crown, and both poles will go through that. There's one. And again through the crown loop and down the other seam. Then we'll set each pole on its head side corner pole pin. Last piece of hardware in the corner and down to the rear end. Working alone, I usually like to do it this way and set it on its poles, pole pins down here. And that's the basics of erecting the tent. I like to do a little neatening, you can do it in different ways. Leave a bit of an end here to hang boots on or other things. Coil up my tensioner line. And like an old sailor that I am, bow hitch it or any other way, tie it up. And of course other things can be tied to that and used later. One more. For neatness sake. And that's the basic setup. Give it a try. <laughs>